covering your women, that's the dumbest shit ever. These guys can't control their urges, so they gotta cover their women up like they're fucking Daft Punk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends, hope you guys are well, inshallah. So, I came across this guy, what's his name? Ray William Johnson. Ray William Johnson, I don't know what his name is, but I just came across this TikTok and I found it a bit bizarre. Let's watch it for ourselves and let's see what his problem is and what he found so funny. Is this funny or is it sad? So in Afghanistan, under the Taliban rule, they are required to either cover the heads of their female mannequins or take the heads completely off. Sometimes they'll even put tinfoil over the mannequins' faces. And I guess this is so men don't lust after them. What kind of dark ages bulls is this? If you think tinfoil is gonna stop me from lusting, you haven't seen the way I look at a baked potato. I'm sorry, covering your women, this is the dumbest ever. These guys can't control their urges, so they gotta cover their women up like they're fucking Daft Punk. So there you go, a, another uh, Caucasian man who wants to come and save and rescue the Muslim world, you know. Uh, in the meantime, while well, he's living in a degeneracy, um, where can, we can see where the Western world is going, that people like Andrew Tate and his likes have become so popular because they are fed up of seeing the direction you're going through. Now, let me educate you, Mrs. Ray William Johnson, whatever your name is, yes? The Taliban, or the people in power in Afghanistan, are not doing that because they cannot control their self, you know? Mrs. Caucasian white man who can control himself because he can go and sleep around with whoever he wants, whenever he wants, and use and abuse a woman like they're a piece of crap, like a jacket potato, like he was mentioning, yes? Uh, he can just access them whenever he likes. I mean, if you think about it, these women are nothing but toilets to you because anytime you wanna go we or go who, you have to use a toilet to relieve yourself. You do the same thing with these women. You just want to relieve yourself inside of them. So they're like walking toilets to you. So for you to come and question um, a group of people who you might look and be like, these barbarians, you know, yeah, yeah. What makes you, what principles do you use to justify that your way of life is better than their way of life? That's the question that needs to be asked. They cover the faces and get rid of the mannequins because of the saying of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, about image makers. So that is actually more close to punishment because of making, um, drawing images. The ruling comes to that, not because the men find it enticing or whatever it may be. And to be honest, actually, talking about this, there was actually a study done that showed that men, actually, some men, actually, some men get turned on by mannequins. So it's not a far-fetched reality. Not that I'm saying it, they do it because of that reason, but in the Western world, there are some people in your world view and your countries in the Western world who follow liberal values that actually find mannequins, you know, they have a fetish for mannequins. So this is a problem that is more prevalent in this country, in the Western in our countries than it is there in their countries. So just because you misjudged it and thought they're just covering them just because, oh, it's, it's such a uh, desire that they cannot control themselves, it's absolutely nonsense, my friend. And funnily enough, you find this fetish of looking at mannequins and getting turned on in the Western world. Isn't that ironic? Maybe next time educate yourself. And talking about covering your woman is the dumbest ever. Really? Really? So do you believe that um, we, are more, um, we are more liberated the more women show their skin? Really? To more sexualizing their self? Do you think this is the way to go about? Yeah? Is this what you think liberalism is? If, do you think this is liberating? That women choose to, in the winter cold, minus three degrees, dress up in mini skirts and wear this much high heels with full of caked up makeup and hair that is not even real. You think that is liberating? And you do not feel that that is oppression? You do not think that these women are uh, are not forced or coerced in one way or another to dress up and behave in that way. Beauty industry, peer pressure, pleasing men, the opposite gender, none of these play a role, really? The Western women want to dress up like this and dress up in mini skirts in cold weather. Absolute garbage. So the biggest BS I've heard is from your mouth. When a woman covers up, she is choosing to control her sexuality, that you talk to her, not talk to somewhere else, my friend. Yes, because maybe you're used to and desensitized to seeing half-naked girls left, right, center. You believe that your worldview, which is the fallacy of presentism, that you have the best worldview and that is the best for the whole world. No, it's not. You have no premises, no points, not, nothing to prove that. So next time before you open your mouth and talk about this, maybe you should buy a book called Beauty Sick. And it would maybe educate you to the pandemic of billions of women around the world who are sick in beauty. Yes, they're beauty sick. They are too busy starving their self to have the perfect body. Yes, getting their nose done, their backside done, their breasts done, and in the process dying. Literally dying to look a certain way because they're not happy with their self. Where Islam has come to liberate the woman so they can be a woman who has a service to the world rather than going to OnlyFans and showing their backside or whatever it may be to make some money. Islam has come to honor women 
and have told the men that they should lower their gaze and a woman to do their part. We are both told to dress up modestly. Hope this has brought or shed some light of light to your ignorance. Till next time, for myself and mannequin fetishes, goodbye.